Welcome to our home studio. Today we are going to do a time lapse of a flower blooming. This is our first attempt at doing a time lapse of a flower blooming, so we're curious how this is going to come out. Uh, we're going to document the effort in hopes that someone else will find what we learn a little bit useful. We're using CFL lighting because it's easy. We're also going to have some natural lighting as the day progresses. You'll see that we have the flower lit 24 hours a day. Uh, we're about a week into this process, although I really think the finished product will be the last eight hours of the video. One concern that we have is keeping batteries charged. Since it does take so long, the batteries last about eight hours. We're charging them all the time. We charge them before we go to work. On the upside, the eight hours, if you're using the internal and the uh, GRIPS batteries, uh, is really all the longer that you can do a time lapse. To start the time lapse, we select it in the D800's menu. Next, we adjust the settings. Arrow over to Start, select On, and OK. This is what the LCD screen looks like with a time lapse in progress. You'll see a looping indicator in place of the remaining shots number that's normally indicated. When the shutter releases, the remaining time will be indicated in the LCD screen. This is helpful to let you know when you need to reset your time lapse if you're doing a long-term exposure that takes more than one session. It is okay to make changes to the camera's settings to keep up with changes in light as your time lapse progresses. Let's have a look through the viewfinder. The dot on the left indicates proper focus. I always shoot time lapse and manual focus to keep the lens from breathing. Here's the time lapse in progress. We wanted to have a look at our settings before we recorded the flower blooming. I use Windows Movie Maker to convert the QuickTime file into a Windows Media file. When I closed the aperture, the dust of the UV filter showed up really bad. I guess I need to clean that thing. I should have done something about the doorknob in the background. It was more out of focus in the viewfinder. I tried to move the camera and the lights one frame at a time to make it look like a natural move. I thought it'd come out okay. If you have any questions, just ask in the YouTube comments. I'll try to answer what I can. Please like us on YouTube, and thanks a lot for watching.